Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Guys, I've been making so many videos. I've been uploading a lot more on this channel. I've been making more videos on my other channel. So you know what? Today, I want to kind of like relax. I kind of want to like chill, relax, and draw, and craft. So I'm going to be using the whole day today to make some crafts. And today, I'm going to be making some keychains. A few months ago, I made a lot of pins using shrink dinks and a lot of you guys liked that video. In fact, it already has like a million views. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. So yeah, today I'm just going to make some keychains using some shrink dinks. So without further ado, making some keychains using shrink dinks. Let's get started. So guys, I went to Daiso. Oh my gosh, Daiso basically has everything. Most of the stuff that I'm going to be using today is going to be from Daiso. First off first, I got some shrink things. I got some like scissors, a hole puncher, key rings, and some beads. They're all so cute. Like look at this. It's pastel and kind of clear and it's so cute. And some small parts. So guys, let's see what I can make today. Okay, first off first, I'm going to make a sketch. So shrink dinks, if you don't know what they are, they're basically like plastic sheets and you can kind of like draw on them. You can use markers, you can use pens. I'm going to be using Posca paint pens. And then you kind of cut it and put it into the oven. After like a few seconds, it's going to shrink and becomes like hard plastic. So when it shrinks, it becomes a fourth of its size. So whenever you're going to play with shrink dinks, you need to keep in mind that it's going to be a fourth of its size. So I kind of want to make like a fairly big charm, like, I don't know, like this big. Oh, but another thing, it's going to be hard to make something like this big. Like even if you draw on this like whole sheet, first off, it might not fit in the oven. And secondly, when it shrinks, it kind of like shrivels up and it kind of moves in this like weird way that if it becomes like too big, it's going to be hard to control. So you're not going to be able to make it like too big. Okay, today I think I'm going to draw my original characters. So, do you guys remember this girl? Ta-da! It's a girl in like a bear outfit and she's for my diamond art painting project, as you can see. Hmm, how should I call her? She doesn't have a name. But yeah, I want to draw her for my first character. Hmm, what should I call her, guys? Please comment below because I actually get name ideas from you guys. She might end up being in my videos a lot, so it's kind of a big deal. Anyways, so I had a few options on what to do with her eyes. I first thought of making it like my girl in the opening with really simple eyes. But then I decided to make them a little more anime. Something like this. Okay, so this step is completely optional. But I'm going to use my drawing tablet to kind of like fix the anatomy and fix the size. So now I'm just going to take a picture and put it into my computer. Lately, I've been using this technique a lot where I draw traditionally, but fix anatomy digitally. This is a completely optional step and you can definitely make these plastic keychains without any drawing tablet. And now I'm just going to print it out. And here we have it. I made it light blue so it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. So now I'm going to get my shrink dink. I'm going to place it on top like so and go over it with Posca paint pen. I'm going to make sure to leave a little bit of space on top like so and a little bit of space on the bottom. And I'm just going to tape it so it won't move. So now time for the Posca paint pens. Wait, never mind. I don't think you can tell the difference too much, but I decided to use a different thin pen for the outline. There are like three different sized pens for Posca paint pens, and I think the thinnest one works best for the outlines and stuff, but it's really up to you. And a quick tip when using Posca paint pen with shrink dinks, don't color in too much. Try to make it as sure as possible. If there's too much ink on one spot, when it shrinks, the ink kind of bunches up and becomes really crumbly and fuzzy. So if you accidentally put too much ink, try to rub it off with tissue. <gasps> That's way too dark. The thing about Posca paint pens is that if you don't have that color, you don't have that color. And they only have like three or four shades of blue. 
I think I have to go with this blue, but this is not the blue that I was looking for. I wanted a more like a baby blue blue. And um, another thing to keep in mind, when you put it in the oven and when it shrinks, the colors turn out a lot darker. But yeah, this is like the only like light blue that I have, so I think I have to go with this. After you're done coloring in, wait for a few minutes until it's completely dry. Then it's time to cut around the drawing. You can go really close to the line, but shrink dinks break really easily and it's hard to make like small cuts. That's why I like to cut around it bigger than the drawing. I also left some space so I can put some holes in with a hole puncher. I'm going to connect it to the keychain using that hole so it needs to be in the right spot. Now I'm just going to cut around the holes and the drawing. Okay, so far so good. Let's go to the oven. Now to the fun part. Time to shrink it in the oven. Any oven will work, but be careful not to make it too hot. Ooh. This part is always so fun to watch. It's going to kind of like shrivel up to a fourth of its size. Oh, another tip, after you bake it, put it underneath a book or something hard to make it straight. And this is how it turned out. So now it's really hard plastic and so far so good. To make it extra cutesy, I decided to add a layer of glossy resin. I decided to add some holo sparkles Yep, holo sparkles, any holo sexuals, and kind of mixed it in the resin. Now I'm just going to layer the resin on top. I try to avoid the drawing when adding the sparkles because I didn't want it to cover the drawing. And guys, when you use resin, don't forget to put gloves on and open the windows because it can cause allergic reaction in the long run. Mmm, so shiny. Okay, I opened my window for ventilation, so I'm sorry if you hear like random noises from outside. So now I'm going to put it on the key ring. <gasps> it's going to be so cute. And there we have it. Okay, okay. So now I'm going to put on some decorations. Hmm, I don't really have a plan. I'm just working as I go. I think I'm going to make another charm. I didn't really have an idea in mind, but I just decided to add a teddy bear because she's wearing a bear outfit. And I basically did the same thing again. I drew on the shrink dink, cut it, and put it in the oven, and put some resin on to make it sparkle. However, I didn't notice, but I wasn't filming some of the process. Apparently it wasn't recording. After I baked my little bear, I put the resin on and added it to the keychain. And I'm actually really, really loving it. And lastly, as like a cute decoration, I want to put like a strap of beads. Or so I thought, but things just didn't work. Okay, so the problem is, I think I got the wrong type of string. It's like so thick and hard that it kind of like curls itself up. I want to like kind of dangle it and it's like so tough that it looks kind of weird. I think I need to go get like a different kind of string. So I'm going to work on the beads at the very end. I'm going to put it aside. And now I want to make like different kind of designs. I'm just going to use this girl as the base. And what to draw? I kind of want to draw like an Alice in Wonderland girl. So Alice in Wonderland it is.
Okay, so next character. By the way, I'm just going to use the same paper. I just erased it because like, why not? Let's save paper. So next up, I want to draw Shelly, my original character. Oh, here's another tip. I use a heat gun to dry the paint because Posca paint pen takes a while to dry. However, you need to be really careful because these plastic sheets react with heat. And when you put the heater too close, yeah, <laughs> you can guess what will happen. So I'm just drawing Shelly, my original character, and just saying there's some Shelly merch out, so if you guys are interested, please check them out. It will be in the description box below. Next up, I'm going to draw Hermione. You guys know me, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I mean, look at my t-shirt today. So Hermione it is. Hmm, I don't think I have the right color for her hair. She's like a light brunette, so it's not like blonde and it's not like brown. But these are like the only colors that I have. Dark brown, gold, yellow, and like an orangey yellow. I need like a color that's like in between these two colors. Okay, yes, I know she's not like a blonde girl, but I feel like this is going to be the closest color that I have. So I decided to color her hair with gold. I thought it'll look okay because after you bake it, the color will turn out a little darker, but like, I didn't. She looked so weird with that gold hair, so I eventually decided to redraw it and color it with like this reddish brown. And that honestly kinda looked like a Weasley, but to be honest, she is a Weasley, so yeah, I guess that works. And lastly, I want to make one more character. I want to draw a maid that I drew last video. She's like my original character and I thought she's like so cute, I wanted to draw her again. So for my last one, I'm going to draw a maid. Um, I don't have a name for her yet again. So if you guys have any ideas, please comment below. In my mind, she's like this cyborg maid girl. I don't know, but like she's like this perfect maid that anyone could ever have. But I don't really have any story for her yet, so I'm probably going to build her character up as I go. Oh, and there's something I want to tell you guys. I decided to open up a Gmail account to accept fan mails. I don't have like a PO or anything to accept mails right now, so if you guys are interested, please send me some emails to me at minorifanmail at gmail.com. Now, I cannot respond to everyone because I get so many every single day, but I have responded to some people here and there, so I may respond at times, but I cannot promise. But I promise I will read every single one. Thank you guys so much for always being so sweet. Okay, so next up, I want to make like these cute charms for each character. Like for Shelly, I'm going to draw Taco. She has a pet friend named Taco that's a flapjack octopus. So I'm just going to use some leftover shrink things and I think I'm just going to go for it. Like I'm not going to make any rough drafts. So I decided to draw Taco for Shelly, Mr. Rabbit for Alice, and a black cat for the maid. I didn't make any rough drafts for any of them and I just went for it. Okay, so for Hermione, I kind of thought about drawing Kirkshanks, but instead I think I'm going to draw a feather. You know that iconic scene where she goes, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Like I want a feather dangling underneath her, so it kind of looks like she's making it float. Okay, so now I'm done drawing, let's go to the oven.
So I was having a fun time making these shrink things because it's just so mesmerizing and interesting looking at them shrink, but suddenly I started a fire. <laughs> okay, that scared me for a bit. Okay, so what? My hands are a little bit shaking. So yeah, um, guys, please be careful when using the oven. I mean, I'm okay, but like if you're young, please use it with an adult. Okay, next up, it's time to add some resin. I added like extra resin on to make it extra sparkly and glossy, but again, this step is optional. And you don't really need this to make the keychain. Okay, now it's all glossy and shiny. <gasps> Look at how pretty it is. And now I'm going to connect them like this. This part is not hard, but a little bit tedious and time consuming. Okay guys, I'm basically done. I just love how all the keychains look. But I got this new thread, so I wanna try putting on the beads. Again, this step is optional, but like I wanted to add some beads to make it extra cute. And I think it was the right choice. I'm not like a bead person, so I don't have that much knowledge with beads, but I just connected the beads and tied it onto the keychain. I didn't know there were so many different kinds of thread for beads. The first one was too thick and tough, but this one turned out to be a little too thin and just too flimsy. This again wasn't the perfect kind of thread for this project, so next time, I think I'm going to be really careful what kind of thread to buy. You know, there's the first for everyone. And for Hermione, I'm actually not going to put any beads on it. I think like she's a very plain girl and none of these beads really fit her. So I think it looks better without any beads. I am finally, finally done guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Believe it or not, this took me a whole day. I mean, some things didn't work, so I had to go out and buy more new stuff. And it was a lot more time consuming than I thought, but I had a lot of fun. And I really like how they turned out. And I'm just so, so satisfied. Please tell me your favorite in the comment section below. Ta-da! So guys, I was able to make five keychains. And I have to say, I actually like them a lot. I think they turned out so cute, so original and just like sparkly and colorful and totally me. Ooh. And it's like super aesthetic too because it's kind of see-through and I like it a lot. I kind of want to put it somewhere up in the background. If you guys like this video, please comment and give me a thumbs up because normally if I get over like 30,000 views, I will do it again. And I think it'll be like really cute if I could like put them up on my wall. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!